Brutiform. Something alcoholic to hand. Like christening a ship. Yeah. <laughs> Just break it over the bow. What is this, Swan Hunter? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we've returned. And hopefully, it won't be as much of a cra car crash as it was last time. I will take full responsibility for that. <laughs> we were all doing all sorts of silly things during that episode. It was more of a podcast. Hello and welcome back to the Wild Hunt. My name is Beast, and today we're back with Grisaya. <clears throat> Fruit stuff specifically. Yes, I'm, yes. I'm not gonna Hello. tell y'all y'all's what bit I did at the start. Y'all gotta fucking watch the video just because I'm an asshole. Actually, no, I'm not an asshole. It's you actually are. first I poured myself the glass, then I got like the sauce I was eating the chicken nuggets to, and like put it on the t uh, on the plate, and then I pulled like a paper towel out and just like put it into my shirt like a napkin, and then like took a bite. <laughs> <laughs> before doing the intro. But yeah, yeah, uh excuse me for today, but uh I literally just I came home after my shift, took a shower, and here I am with my food. I literally have not eaten yet. My last meal was at 9 a.m. because I woke up early and they and the, the fucking delivery just didn't arrive until like fucking two. But hey, I didn't know if laying back down was even worth the fucking time because, hey, it might get there at 10, it might get there at 11, but it had to get there at 2. Also, I don't and have a shift he... tomorrow, but in exchange, I have a shift on Saturday <laughs> at 6 a.m. Yep, and now he has nuggies. Now I have nuggies, yes. But yeah, uh, as, you, as you may have guessed from me saying that I have a Saturday shift at 6 a.m., I'm not recording on Friday. I will mention this again at the, in tomorrow's recording for the people that don't wa that don't watch this but watched Ido Sekai. But yeah, that's the deal. Ah. Uh. 前に都内でお会いしてから2ヶ月。いや、3ヶ月ぶりぐらいかな。And here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, you know what? Own face. I was about to say, you know what? I'm te I was I, I would almost be tempted to rip off his face in the attempt to fucking rip off the mask because that's such a fake smile. <laughs> yeah. You have no idea how fake. I have an idea how fake. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> Bud has no idea how fake. Business, man. Well, quite frankly, yeah, because that's a waste of fucking time and therefore a waste of money. Yeah. Time is money. Yeah. And someone as greedy as him, he's not wasting money for no reason. Yeah. Spiritness is not in this man's character, or indeed name. So yeah, he's like, okay, doesn't quite work. His name is literally Double Ho. Because Michi from Pime, because Michi from Pi Primal Hearts is a hoe, and we all know Aki. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him to your face, though. He will make you disappear. You say that as if he wouldn't fucking embrace it. <laughs> like well, I, I tell Aki, a, I, I have before told Aki he a hoe, and he has just essentially resp responded saying, "Damn right yep. I am." <laughs> Just the one word answer of yup. Yeah. 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 
I mean, you're currently pushing the problem of your fucking existence onto her, so you better fucking show more appreciation. Hey, Raze. So <laughs> yeah, pay Raze sounds quite nice. <laughs> あの、一応視察のコースはこちらで決めていたのですが、いつも通りのルートで結構別の場所を見る必要はないし、時間を割くなど持ってのほうかだ。There we are. Like a nuclear power plant. I was about to say, I'd rather like Sellafield not to be in my back garden, please. I mean, let's be honest, considering the students attending the school, a meltdown is very likely. Yeah. I was about to say, why is reactor number four looking very, very mild right about now? In comparison. Mm hmm. Oh, guys, there's something wrong with the coolant. It's not pumping in enough actually, water. Actually, you know what? Surely this won't be an issue. You know what? Three more I made these two suffer the joke. I'm gonna make y'all suffer the joke as well. You know oh, why no. there aren't many professional chess players in Slovakia? Because it's so very easy to be in check. I will see myself out. Yeesh. Back to nuclear power station jokes. I didn't actually leave the room, I just opened the door and closed it. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, sound effect. I can already tell that the fucking thumbnail is gonna have a nuclear power plant in it just because of this conversation. It's just a silhouette of a Cockroft folly. I mean, you could do all Don't sorts of things. Don't you dare cactus, by the way. That is going to be very, very lazy at this point. <laughs> <laughs> A silhouette of a Cockroft folly at Sellafield. Do me proud, Cactus. <laughs> like that Cactus currently watching the video, like fucking caught between disappointing me and uh, like <laughs> make it do, making Just... you proud. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why? Why has uh, Anatoly Dyatlov's face been superimposed on one of the characters? <laughs> Which one? Which it is? Which one is more desirable, Sakaki Michiaki or Anatoly Dyatlov? <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, the rest of them just dressed like liquidators. Like, I, I, I am 100% looking forward to the fucking thumbnails. They were fucking. Alexei Anatenko, is that you? Like those, those uh, cactus, cactusified thumbnails are literally the high, highlight of my Friday. <laughs> One day they're gonna be. One of them's gonna be so good you're gonna use it. <laughs> no, here's the thing. I'm not gonna use something someone else made unless I like properly pay them back for it. The only exception to that is the jaywalking tier list because that that <laughs> was like cooperative effort between me and Cactus from the very start. Oh, good. <laughs> But if I ever like properly fucking get cactus on to do that type of shit for me, I'm not doing that for letting him do that for free. Like if he does that, I'm fucking paying him, which I can't. So. ここの町にとっての学園がですか?平時だったらどうということはないんだけど、仮に何かがあった場合、住んでる人の不安感ってのはそりゃすごいと思うわよ。失礼よね。人をそんな扱いしちゃって。でも、そうされるような理由、みんなにもあるじゃない。それは。まあ、だからこそのこの視察なのよね。何も問題ないですよ。大丈夫ですよってアピールのために時々こうしてオーボスがやってきて適当にうろうろして帰っていく。I <笑> 
Oh yeah. There was a Japanese minister once who did indeed do just that. Yeah. I missed the explanations in the top corner. Someone tries to fucking cause a nuisance to get the school school closed. Yuji is probably going to string them up by the fucking neck. Yeah, I was about to say the uh, the main thoroughfare in, in Mihama in Mishima Cape just suddenly finds itself lined with the corpses of them and their family. I always forget that this place is called Mishima Cape. Yeah. <laughs> This this place is was was built by the by the fucking Mishima Saibatsu. <laughs> you can't get out of their head, can you? What's that over there? It's the glorious Twin Hair Peaks. Fun fact: in one of the Tekken continuations, uh, Heiachi actively did something to his hair. To make them hard and then sharpen them so he can actively stab people with them. What a more deadly head. So he just so he just has like two fucking. Uh, they're they're more towards the back of his head, so it's not really a head, but. Oh right! Uh, for a moment, I thought you were making him out to be some sort of unicorn. No, no, hold on. <laughs> like the really really freakish version of a Peaky Blinder. So dumb. This is Heihachi Mishima. Oh, right. Kind of looks more like uh, Aramaki in Ghost in the Shell, to be honest. Nope. Actually, now I'm curious. I, 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 I think that Heihachi is older, but I'm not sure now. Hold on. Look. Wrong window. Oh, the wrong window. Oh. Ghost in the shell release date. Curious to not the Manga better release date even. In October fifth, nineteen ninety one. Now, hmm. Tekken 1 release date. 1994, so he might actually be based on them. Hmm. Oh, heavens. That was being facetious. Yeah. But yeah, like, that specific clip I send is actually from, like, the sickest cuts in Tekken 7. Yeah, look at this shit. Just fucking father, son, fist fight to the death in the middle of an active volcano. It's sick. <laughs> Especially the fucking random piece of uh, volcanic rock falling down. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure I remember what that specific gif is from because I think it's like the end of uh, because I think it's like the end of the fucking I don't re remember from which Tekken specifically but it's the e uh, but it's the end of uh, the Heihachi single player campaign where in the end he <laughs> Fires a rocket into space that has his gr his father, his son, which is Kazuya Mishima, and his grandson, who is Jin, Jin Kazuma, tied okay. to it, and just watching from afar with a fucking pair of binoculars. <laughs> In a lot of those like single player campaign endings, which are in canon, he has like this weird obsession with firing his family members off into space. うん、そうじゃないって。だからこそ、みんな街では頑張っていい子にしてるんだし、こうやってボスが来た時も一人と大人しくしてるんだから。<笑> 
でもまあ一番辛いのは榊さんよねやっぱりそうですよね<笑> Oh hey we got a CG Very nice 校舎から出てきたわね You would be the nice place to put the numbers on Get Stop those playing. fucking leaves out of there Yeah, leaf it out. And the game's dying again. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. And the game is alive again. <coughs> oh, it's dear. alive. And it's on the road again. On the road again. Can't wait to get on Can't the road again. Get on the road again. That was the joke, yes. Is it in the building again? Okay, something was wrong with that piece specifically. It is the thickest piece, so maybe it just didn't finish properly. Who knows? Mm. That's completely fine. Just this one is really chewy and nah. Chewy? Yeah. Like Chewbacca from the movie series Star Wars. It has the consistency of. Fuck, what's the, what's the English name for that? Rubber? No. Lard? No. Wookie. <laughs> Wookie. Cartilage. It wasn't, it wasn't... Cartilage. Oh, cartilage. Ooh. Yeah, don't want that. Cartilage. Yeah, it had the weird consistency of cartilage. That's not good. Yeah. It sounds unpleasant. <laughs> oh, yeah, the fucking leaves stopped. As soon as on the door, the rooftop and met with a piercing glare. Much like last time we met here, Sakaki is standing straight at an arrow near the edge of the roof, her hair dancing in the sea breeze. But like yes, last time, there's undisguised hostility in her eyes. Yo. Holding eye contact, I answer her sharp gaze with a light greeting. Completely on her guards, so I stop my approach with a good distance still separating us. My to what are you talking about? The reason I'm here, of course, is that I was slightly worried about a certain woman I knew to be brooding all by herself. Oh, thanks to that meddlesome prince, uh, principal's unsolicited tip, uh, I knew Saskaki's location, and I would certainly like to give her my tip, so I had to. But <sighs> you can't say you didn't expect that. How about I give you a tip? No, I'm not gay. At this point, even, I <laughs> at this point, I clambered into the game and suggest her and decided to succumb to ennui along with Yumiko. Listen, I'm oh, gonna be I even more be all about just movie. wanting people, making people want to die because I currently want to die after my fucking shift. <laughs> my fucking feet hurt! Yeah, first time? No. It's that way after every, every shift. That's why I tend to not record after shifts. That and usually after shifts, I lay down for a fucking nap, which I have not done today. Yeah. Someone just started playing something, but it didn't even show that if they were playing. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. We got, we got a dead body that's even more anonymous than being irrecognizable. Get it? Because John Doe, Anon Doe, yeah. ha 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 ha, I'm mm -hmm. funny. Oh, oh. I mean, it's, 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 no funny. Kind of funny these days. That awkward moment oh. where the slow clap makes the actual clap more preferable. How oh, humorous. In fact. Well, I should probably finish so, reading that line. It is so humorous, in fact, that I'll give you. And having been handed that information, the idea of leaving her up here alone started to feel strangely unpleasant. 
Of course, if I told Scarlet to play it through from the situation, I still doubt she'd aggressively reject my concern. For instance, of course, I did here today. It was a slightly special day, though. <laughs> so instead, I offer up a vague mixture of lies and truth. The ball's in Skaki's court now. So, don't worry, I didn't start the conversation last time either, remember? Skaki breaks her sidelong glare in my direction, her gaze turning to the ground below. <laughs> this dorm is only a three-story building, the people below are clearly visible from our vantage point on the rooftop. Just now the principal is leading a man in an expensive looking dark grey suit and what seems to be his own entourage in our direction. <laughs> Kaki pushes her lips tightly. As the approaching figures draw close, she pulls herself back from the edge of the roof just far enough that she can't be seen from the ground. Her placement clearly conveys a desire to observe and her absolute rejection of being observed in return. <laughs> That sounds like the beginning of an evil laugh now I hear it again. You know, mm -hmm. his look currently. Yeah. Hold on. Maybe maybe there's a gif of it. Uh... Oh boy. There is no. That, actually, no, that was emoji. There is no gif of it, so. Who fucking cares, but I gotta just describe it. Now I'm just like, I wanna walk up to it, put my hand in his mouth, and then pull down his jaw until it hits the fucking floor. <laughs> what? Something about him just pisses me off, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> see, see what prompted him in a reaction similar to that of Robin Williams. Actually, hold on. Uh, maybe there is a gif of another one. Uh... Fuck, that's not the thing. <laughs> Let me delete that again. <clears throat> There's actually no gif of that specific like, what do they call it? Glory kill? I don't fucking know. From God of War reboot and Ragnarok. The one where he, like, punches the wolf, grabs it by his top jaw and bottom jaw and just rips open the fucking bottom jaw all the way down his fucking body. That. <laughs> There's a voice from below. Casually glance towards the sound. The man in the expensive suit had a fake smile plastered across his face. His, la his laughter is utterly hollow to the point that it's actually physically unpleasant to hear. It's the forced laughter of a person who hasn't known real amusement for a very long time. <laughs> Skaki flinches at the sound. She opens her mouth ever so slightly, takes a few small breaths, then closes it again. Her sharp gaze is completely focused on the man in the expensive suit. Watches the man fixedly as he struts along confidently next to the principal. It's the expression of someone sizing up an old bitter enemy. But there's also something like sadness there. We haven't been formally introduced or anything, but it seems safe to say the man in the suit is her father, Skaki Michiaki. Compared to the man in the pamphlet, he seems slightly scrawnier, but I'm willing to bet that that's just the result of some subtle photographic retouching by his PR people. Himiko simply stares down at him in silence. Those aren't or shouldn't be the eyes of someone looking at their father. That's sad, they're not full of murderous rage either. Her eyes are just sad. Sad and empty. Okay, there's one. Okay, I think somebody's just straight up half cartilage in the middle, and that's why. Yeah. There's a second one that was a lot thinner that yet had the same problem like the, as the first so there apparently are just some of them that are just straight up have jar cartilage in them maybe uh oh 
<laughs> Very no. Anyways. That's disappointing. Very. I'd like to more or less see everything of you. Sorry. <sighs> I just knew what was going to happen. Word, the group stopped just a little distance from the dormitory. Ah, I turned to the side, fixing the principal with a cold eyed stare. <laughs> With a single irritated grunt, the chairman turns on his heel and begins to walk off. He strides towards the front gate with his party exuding overbearing haughtiness to the end. Doesn't look back. <laughs> Very close all of a sudden, Jesus. Zagi mm. so stares unblinkingly at this quietly retreating figure. There's no particular emotion on her face now. She simply watches until the end. <sighs> when this distant figure reaches the school building and finally passes completely from view, Skaki drops both her hands on the iron to the iron rail and leans forward and heaves a heavy sigh. It stays that way for a long time, looking straight down at the concrete beneath her feet. As every breeze picks up after a long interruption, so the air rushes past us from behind. Sarai's long hair and school uniform flap noisily in the wind. When the ghost dies down, there's a moment of perfect silence. Kaki mutters a few words to the concrete beneath her feet. There's a hint of weakness in her voice. That's right. Not for a concise reply. I'm not tactless enough to poke my nose at other people's business out of mere curiosity. Oh. I think we've been over this. I'm not going to ask you anything. But if you have something you want to talk about, I'm willing to listen. I don't know what Skaki really wants from me right now. I think her words pretty clearly indicate that she was hoping I'd ask her or something. Of course, that doesn't mean I now have free reign to barrage her with questions. That isn't why I'm here in the first place. Why won't you see your father? Is there a reason you're in this school? What exactly do you think about Skaki Michiaki? There are plenty of things I'm interested in knowing. Well, it's not, not, but it's not like dragging the answers out of her is going to change anything. If explaining things would offer Skarki some relief, as a classmate, I'm willing to ask those questions. But as long as I don't know that for sure, and my curiosity at her would exceed good-natured meddling and learned solidly in the territory of outright prying. Sorry if you find my reasoning unpleasant, but it's just my personality. From Sakaki's expression, I can understand she doesn't mean that in a negative way. The usual harsh prickly aura of rejection seems to have softened somewhat. Like I just said, talk all you want, I'm not gonna stop you. So Skaki pushes herself away from the railing and walks across to the door. Yeah. Chalky slender hand throws the door open with surprising firmness. When she's inside, she closes, sol closes solidly behind her. The wind picks up again, gusting strongly across the rooftop. A few stray grains of sand from the nearby beach blow into my face. Guess I let back myself. 
I'm not going to pretend to understand Skaki right now. But if my rabbit school, my storm, enters the Dura Life, can end up working to your advantage somehow. I think I'd like to make that happen. Simple as that. Right now, the fact that I'm living this carefree, peaceful life fills me with guilt. It's a burden I carry with me every wa waking moment. If I can lighten that load of self-condemnation slightly by doing some half-assed pseudo-counselor volunteer work, then there's that's something in. But there's something in it for me as well. Of course, the way I'm thinking about this is such a calculating mercenary way of, in such a calculating mercenary way, adds a whole new layer of guilt on top of it all. Second thought, I don't know if I should be counseling anyone. Slowly descending stairs, I mutter quietly to myself. Sinking deeper into a Sunday afternoon melancholy that has nothing to do with the approaching work week. I did in my s little soliloquy for some time. Early afternoon on a clear, ferociously hot summer day. Even in an air-conditioned classroom, the temperature is pushing to 90 degrees. Damn, he must be cooking. I think they're measuring in Fahrenheit. I know, but I'm... That's the fucking joke. Yeah. Which means, the, bud, you must be very happy. The joke is retard units. Anyways. I'm gonna slumps forward over a oh. desk, panting. Her tough tongue lolling out of her mouth. She remembers nothing so much as a broken down old dog tied up in the sun. I ask myself the same thing every summer. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Just give me spring. She's just like me for real. And autumn. Yeah. I don't need anything other than spring and autumn. I'm told Wisconsin has uh, similar climatic conditions to that. Long Wisconsin. springs and autumns and... Yeah, yeah, I'm told it has uh, long springs and autumns and short but very sharp winters and uh, summers. Also, I tried a uh, completely out of context demo. Uh, I tried a uh, Tekken 8 demo yesterday. It was fun. Hey. However, my PC is clearly not fucking built for that game, so <laughs> I'm not getting it. Oh, well. I'm just like... If I ever want to play Tekken, I'll just, like, attempt to, like, grab someone by the fucking throat and drag him into Tekken 7 instead. Anyways. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I zoned out for a second. <laughs> Jurassic Lark would be more accurate. I, I, I think she's tolling her old. Or that. Samoikuni grew up big because she has a healthy appetite, plain and simple. Just this morning I saw her pop mocking his leftovers in her mouth. I don't think she even knew what she was doing it. アモネってさ、子供の頃は意外と肥満児だったりしたんじゃないいや、そうでもないよ。確かに背は子供の頃から高い方だったけど、昔はガリガリに痩せてたし。本当にって言いながら、私のウエストを掴むのやめなさい。
少し羨ましいです昔はガリガリに痩せてたのになんで今はそんなにむっちりしてるわけ I can't see that word that those two words together without immediately thinking of say Juliana <laughs> turned nice and plump and ho 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 pleasantly jiggly excuse me it's the one character I just really can't stand in Bravely Default it's it's token perverted old man which doesn't help that we already have someone filling in the token pervert role in ring a bell and he does it better honestly like there's literally one uh support and uh, not support conversation there's like these party chats which is just lit like just conversations the members of the party have outside, like outside of the main story and they just arrived at like this big old city it's called florum and it's like big old neon lights everywhere and essentially uh tiz wakes up and just completely fucking tired out of his mind it's like everyone's like why could, 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 didn't, could, were you unable to sleep no i couldn't the fucking fluorescent light kept me out awake and when i was just about to fucking wake up ring a bell drunkenly stumbled in after a fucking night of drinking and woke me up which by the way i like the name ring a bell for an amnesiac Something that's also funny is that Ring a Bell essentially he's ha he has amnesia. However, the one of the few belongings he had on him when he woke up essentially was a big old journal that had just had the letter D on top of it, and uh, that seemed to predict the future to a degree. So he would very frequently just tell people their fucking future based on the journal, and one of uh, in one scenes they're like in this big old fucking massive ship's engine room and about to turn it on and just as they're about to turn it on ring of bells like wait hold on i think we're about to face uh, i think we're about about to, uh, i think we have to face a formidable foe before we're able to handle this engine and everyone turns around to him it's like what what did did, did, did some did the journal say something about this and he just goes forget about the journal i can feel it breathing down my neck And I really like that scene. Anyways, play Bravely Default. It's actually a really good game. Oh, Ichijiki, so, Rokuna Mono Tabete Nai Toki Gate, Sorela, I Tai Suga Kawata Mitai. That would do it. Toy it to the Mustetano? Bad choice of words. Say you ka, um, Nita Yona Monkana. Must have been quite a extreme one. Tonikaksa, Gohan or Tabenai de Tara, Ayo Sicho de Sinica, eh? So Stara, Karadaga, don't don't Ayo Taquario in Najatanayone. Who done do in Tabetemo? E cuckets the Nanakiro Mokota Kotoga at the big Kuristawayo. Demo, you go off to the Naiwayone. Undo to Shokji say against Terukaradayo. <laughs> fucking Yuiko just walks up with a fucking notebook like elaborate. あ、何あんた太ったのだから、あんたはまずインスタントをやめなさいよ。夜中に小腹が空いたからってカップ焼きそばとか食べるから太るのよ。べ、別にそれほど太ったというわけでも。Ah, Hold on, maybe I'll find it quickly this time. <laughs> Whilst everyone else suffers for want of a Pifco fan. What? 
暑くて干からびそう動いてないのに暑いよ暑い暑くて干からびそう動いてないのに暑いよOkay, hold on. I just accidentally opened up memes link to pictures on Discord, and I found a picture that I, I, I just, I'm, I'm legally obligated to send that to Morgan. There we go. <laughs> oh, and then immediately afterwards, I see the gay shit impact. <laughs> Anyways. That was once upon a time when I was a cr cringy teenager <laughs> where I had a girlfriend that I referred to as my queen of hearts and I will never not want to die for that. I was a really fucking cringy ass kid, okay? Don't at him. He has enough grief in his own mind as it is. Yes. Like, no matter what words you try to throw at me, I've said worse about myself. I like I if I if I could find myself and like my child to to like old teenager years, I'll beat the shit out of myself. You know, just like beat up little kid me because stop being such a fucking spoiled little shit. You ruined my life. And fucking teenage version just beat the sh fucking cringe out of him. But yeah, like I entirely blame my child and teenage self on my current situation. <laughs> I... I really just one of the main problem I have is that I never learned proper work ethic as a kid. So I, it was very hard for me to like actually get myself to study in school. And now here I sit, doing visual novels on YouTube. Without, without earning a fucking cent. I mean, I am technically earning a sum because I think I have like three patrons. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, hold on. I'll fucking check. I'll fucking check right now. <laughs> let's, do, let's do the fucking end of video patron readout, except it's in the middle of the video. My fucking, you know that I haven't touched my Patreon in fucking ages. Because I literally just, I literally still have fuck my fucking, like, the Murasame profile picture on it. Awesome. I mean, Cheeky Murasami is wholesome, yes, but at the same time, how long ago did I change that at this point? Very long ago. Anyways, yeah, I currently have three patrons.
Actually, never mind. Apparently, I have no active patrons. Actually, no, no, no. There you go. Uh, three. Jordan, Dave, and Jester Dragon. Which are... One of them is in the... 20... Uh, in the 20 euro tier. One of them in the 1 euro tier. And one of them in the 5 euro tier. How much money do I is actually currently saved up on the fucking fifty bucks? <laughs> actually, don't. No, actually, never mind. The last charges were all like before. 2014, so I don't think I have any active members anymore. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, like, <coughs> the latest charge were on, Ap on April 1st, 2023. So, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm literally earning not a cent anymore. <laughs> not even through fucking Patreon. Anyways. Oh. No, no, mine. I'm disappointed. The anime fan now. He stopped playing Peak. He stopped playing. Peak. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh. My God. What? What's a fucking funny bud? Come on, share with plant. Share with plants. I just think. I just think your nickname Peak is funny. Because it's Peak Fiction. I know. That's why also, it's funny. Also, it's literally just I refer to it as that because like. I sh I fucking like essentially like low key stalk people on Twitter that have started playing with the body terminal, <laughs> and all of them like all of them have the fucking same reaction. People were right. This is peak. So I've just kind of like adapted the fucking phrase. The garden of peak peak. Anyways. Seeds only gets to you because you like willpower. Go take a ni nice long run outside and I bet you'll feel a lot cooler. I've spent plenty of time in some time in hotter climates. A heat wave like this doesn't bother me at this point. It's all about getting yourself accustomed to it. If you run outside in the summer and get your top body temperature up, after a while you won't be breaking a sweat and heat like this. Breaking a sweat and heat like this. Of course, I'm speaking from experience, that's... That's what I'm saying, right? That's what I'm saying, right? What? Did I say something weird? Turn around and search for support, but no one makes eye contact. You've let me down, everyone. Is this the bystander effect that worked? まあ確かに。これだけ暑いと雨ねじゃなくても誰るわね。海にでも行って泳ぎたい感じ。Oh, do we have a beach episode? うん。海。海よ。あんた海知らないの?ほんにゃ。海が何なのかは知ってるし、見たことはあるけど、泳いだことはないのよさ。To be fair, neither have I. I cannot imagine myself swimming in the swimming in the sea. I did go to like a lagoon once with a friend of mine. I did not swim there though. Funny enough, mm -hmm. uh, it's not it, it, like m a big reason why I didn't swim actually was I I, I just straight up didn't have fucking uh, swimming trunks with me because I, that was no plan to go there. It's just like me and my friend were hanging out at his place and the mom was like, hey, oh, come on, let's, let's drive somewhere. And she's like, suddenly we're at the lagoon and like, wait, I, I, I don't have anything to swim in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I doubt there's actually like a swimming lake near where I live, and I also can't imagine swimming in that. The water is just the water is green. Oh, oh no. Ah, so yeba mukashi. What a sto sakaki san to michiru de umi ni itta koto atta wa yone. So ne. Nigai omoi de dawa. Why did you feel defeated? Chotto! Anta o zenze mashi datta janai! Both of them felt defeated. It seems to be something of a diver divergence and opinion on that. Hey, cops! Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
conclude with confidence that a principal's work is pretty damn boring. But of course, that's an evaluation from my personal perspective. It's always possible that she's re relish just pushing papers around. For all I know, this job could be her very reason for living. If, if that's the case, I uh, really shouldn't barge in and interrupt it too often. Since I have business with her, today I've got no choice. However, there is no cause for concern. I may not be the world's most skilled communicator, but even I know that a friendly, polite greeting goes a long way towards soothing over this sort of minor faux pas. Hey, sorry to interrupt you when you're having so much fun. Sounds like you were doing something weird in no, here. No, but he wishes you was. Huh. Yeah. I wouldn't say any more, Chizuru. I'm well aware that you're very much enjoying yourself in the privacy of this office. <laughs> Although I can't say I understand the appeal personally. I'd like to watch you every day, every single fucking day. Uh, that one sounded sound a bit more creepy than fucking anything. Uh, now I've, uh, yeah, I'd I... return that one. <laughs> like you return to sender. Came out wrong. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever could be. Could you be certainly did. <laughs> well, never mind about that. There's something I want to talk to you about. I need a favor. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting all worked up about? Calm yourself, Jibuto. You'll have menopause early if you're this stressed out all the time. You know? <laughs> oh, you're already? You <laughs> You want to test out if it had hit yet? <laughs> it's better God. than the watching one! <laughs> oh. <laughs> not the crickets. I see, my bad, but I know it's none of my business. But you're a beautiful woman, Chizu. Uh, you need no need to resign yourself to a future as an old man just yet. I'm complimenting you, of course. If I'd been born five years earlier, I'm sure I would have proposed by now. Proof that Yuji is a weak, a weak MC. He wouldn't. He's not doing it because he's like five years younger. Imagine being Older. that fucking weak. No, he said if he'd been five years, if it's been five years, if he had born been born five years earlier. So if he had been five years older than he is currently, aka yes, that's what I said. lessening the age gap. Yes. Okay, then I guess that's enough getting around. I wasn't joking when I said that you're a beautiful woman. Anyway, here we are for a minute. Now, what's the matter? Your face is slightly flushed. Diarrhea. I'm going to beat him to death. Hmm. Actually, I'm hoping to take everyone on a group outing to the beach sometime soon. For one thing, it seems Maki has never played in the ocean. And let's face it, at the moment, you've got a bunch of pale weaklings for students. They didn't avoid he healthy outdoor recreation like the plague. But to think we uh, should try to do something about that. Might be a good start. <sighs> so I thought I'd drag a lot of them out into the sun for a while. Dress it up as a picnic on the beach or whatever. Uh, but after thinking it over, I'm a little worried about having them running wild over there. Naturally, there's a limit to how close an eye I can keep on them myself. So it was hard you'd come along too, Chizuru. <laughs> Yes, I could really use a reliable woman like you along on this one. Uh. I know you're busy, Chizuru. When you get down to it, I'm trying to take advantage of your kindness here. I know it's selfish of me, but even so. And so I'd like you to come to the beach with me. But I'll understand if you say no. Me wanting to see her in a swimsuit is enough reason. Are you listening to what I'm saying to you? I want to go to the beach with you. That's reason enough for me. Don't overthink this. Riz? <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> That's right. 
He's just like me for real. <laughs> Are you angry about being manipulated? I wish I was being manipulated. I'll let you know about the details later. Would you mind driving out one of the cars? Hmm. Damn, we caught on. I'll make a note. Always be honest with women. Those were my master's words. No matter how painful the truth you're com com communicating is, you have to start from a position of honest discussion or you'll never be able to truly resolve your differences. A very bold and straightforward opinion indeed. Typical of my master's way of thinking. But I don't understand why it applies to women in particular. On the other hand, a certain busybody ger busy German woman told me quite the opposite. Lied with lie to women. It's kind of choice. Women aren't really eager to learn the ugly truth. Even if they know you're lying, they'll choose to accept the deception as long as they have a reason to do so. Yes, teachers that are that his opinion will be close <coughs> to JB's. Frankly, it's a real pain in the ass to try to anticipate when an older woman would prefer a white lie or when they would want the truth. But I guess that sort of consideration is an inevitable part of forming functional relationships. A sort of troublesome woman is supposed to be cute precisely because she is kind of a pain in the ass. And so I feel that way right now, but it's probably just proof that I'm still a kid. Damn for fucking right he is, considering he's not seeing the trauma she's in. In any case, it seems I've managed to secure our transportation. And the eye candy. <laughs> Someone left. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> oh, he's back. Hello. You're trying to oh, tell God. me that Chizuru isn't some isn't a nice view to look at? Is that what you're saying, bud? No, uh, both of your guys' audio cut out. I couldn't hear you. Oh, okay. Like you, you, you left call the moment I let out another fucking line. So it just seemed like you left yeah. out of disappointment. <laughs> yeah. Why would I do that? You know I wish I had your nerve. Essentially, he said that he secured the transportation and I added and the eye candy because Jesus was going along now. And immediately after you say that, you fucking left call. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, timing. <laughs> Such a wonderful thing. The next door to your business would probably be to say... What we're going to do when we get there. There's probably no need for me to worry too much about that. In the first place, the only beach activities that I can think of involve someone screaming, Keep your head down, damn it! God damn it! You're trying to get yourself killed, maggots! As I crawl across the sand. Ah, kind of thing, but why am I so damn eager to go to the beach? It's just gonna bring back a lot of memories tinged with the scent of gunpowder. This is no good. I like to lecture people about adding, acting on the assumption of worst case scenario. When I'm by myself like this, that rational habit all too often transforms into unprotected pessimism. If I'm gonna live normally, I need to acquire the habit of thinking less. Man's is trying to uh, uh, acquire true masculinity, as I fucking continuously hear Mr. Fucking Samwise talk about it. context there's like this youtuber called something something samwise i don't fucking remember who does a lot of videos on like genuine masculinity which always includes like the same fucking sentence humility isn't to think less of you it's to think of yourself less like it fucking comes up in damn near every fucking video the most i should be Anguishing over before a trip to the beach is the color of Hawaiian shirt I'm gonna wear. It's gonna wear a Hawaiian shirt? Okay, send it to prison, lads. <laughs> that just gives him a prison sentence. Yes, immediately. <laughs> no fucking mercy. We're on the last glass, lads! 
So. Uh, if I think too much, everything about my life right now starts to feel like a complete farce and I'm sinking into self-loathing. Mood. Uh, I asked for this. I sought out normality. It'd be uh, idiotic to run from it now. In peace, I refuse to face the ugliness of myself. I want change, so I reject the happiness of a carefree existence. <coughs> a mess of contradictory impulses. I guess that's just another way of saying I'm a human being. It just, so, it just sounded to me like I accidentally said human being. Which, uh, to be fair, who doesn't want to be Hume Helsing? Now, I wish one of you to remember who Hume Helsing is. Be honest with me. I... Really? Not coming to me right now. <clears throat> Babies. Oh no. Still don't remember? Uh, no, it's not coming to me. Magikoi, the dude who refers to everyone as babies. Who, he just oh. fucking calls everyone a fucking baby. Not in the furry yes. term, but in the derogatory term. Yes, 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 I remember. Hume Helsing. Anyways, I'm sitting in my chair immersed in a book when a certain bottle blonde cautiously strikes up a conversation. Mark is standing at her side, a somewhat awkward expression on her face. Dropping the autobiography of the ex idol uh, Chigasaki Megumi face down on my desk, I turn my attention to, to, to. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's look that up. Who is Chigasaki, uh, Chigasaki Megumi? Is it an actual idol or is it a character from a previous game? Everything that's being shown to me is like a fucking Facebook profile. Hold on, let me just. Oh no. Be there. Still nothing. There is a Kawasaki Megumi, but no Chigasaki. Kawasaki Megumi is also an artist, not an idol. <laughs> Which did art for... That's just very important. Mm. <laughs> One of the fucking games that she did art, uh, that she or he or whatever did art for is Giri Giri Paradise. Let me just read the description. Giri Giri Paradise has a rather simple story. The protagonist, a teenager, na a teenager named Keiichi, is having a vacation. Together with three young pretty girls, initially only friends of his, he goes on a journey which ends in a small hotel on the seashore. Exploring the surroundings and meeting local people, some of which are young pretty girls as well, Keiichi realizes that this trip is gradually turning into, busy into the busiest sex adventure of his life. What? Like, a lot of these games have, like, very old art styles. Mm. And they're also very porn-heavy. <laughs> um. And one of them is just called uh, Toilet no Megami-sama. Which, I, I'm fucking worried about that one. But yeah, like, all of them have, like, like... <sighs> How do I best explain this? No, I'm just going all out, like... So, a lot, like, all of them have, like, different mixtures of, like... Essentially, all of these games 
mix together the art styles of like Dokusei Banging Summer, the original, and Bible Black with a different like proportion. Like one of them is like fucking 90% Dokusei, 10% Bible Black, and other, the other is like fucking 80% Bible Black, 20% Dokusei. You know what I fucking mean? Like different proportions. Anyways. What's up? You're looking to confess your love when the meeting behind the gym make for a better atmosphere either way to at once is a new one. Seems I'm something of a lady killer. So so that sounds like the start of his confession. If you have something to say to me, feel free. I'll listen if nothing else. Hmm. Huh? その雰囲気というか、オーラというか、それはいけないと思うの。ね、そうでしょう、マキナ。うーん、私はそうは思わない。そこで、私たちはいい方法を考えたのよね。ふふん、これはちょっとすごいわよ。Why <laughs> am I worried all of a sudden? Why am I worried all of a sudden? Why am I worried all of a sudden? You should be worried. <laughs> Drive like, like you see those happy, like talking marks mm -hmm. here, like little sunshines. Rays. Drive them into her skull like stakes. Maybe the acupuncture will fix her brain. <laughs> That's not how that works. Nothing else has worked so far, so fucking might as well try. Entering the school, I've been constantly trying to act like an average student, but apparently my efforts haven't been that successful. I might be wearing sheep's clothing, but I guess the scent of a wolf can't be disguised so easily. By God, reading that out loud made me cringe. Listen, no matter how badass you are, the moment you refer to yourself as a wolf, you have lost all respect for me. He's clearly being ironic. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I'm really off topic, by the way, but I've recently watched, like, a bunch of videos that are, like, essentially Fire Emblem retrospectives. And essentially, what the person who made the videos did is that as Three Houses was announced, he just decided, you know what? Sounds interesting. I really want to play that. So I played a better play every Fire Emblem game in existence in release order. So yeah, essentially, like, because he had interest in one single Fire Emblem game, the only exposure he had to Fire Emblem game before wanting to do this retrospective is fucking the Fire Emblem Warriors. AKA the fucking Fire Emblem Awakening Warriors crossover. It was it just Fire Emblem Awakening? I think it was just Fire Emblem Awakening. But yeah, from that point, he essentially just went down the fucking line of Fire Emblem titles chronologically. So he went all the way back to the original sh fucking Fire Emblem Dark Dragon. He gave the first ever Fire Emblem, which had some terrible fucking systems. I'm actually still surprised that the man praised fates about something. I mean, it is just like the unit customization system. But he still praised fates about something. That's madness. Also, he didn't actually uh, talk about the loading times in Garrick Mach for three houses at all when it, once he get, got there. We all, all of us who played Three Houses, had uh, know the pain of trying to fast travel to the ch like the main chapel for the fucking advice requests 
and just having to wait like a solid minute for the fucking gate to open as the goddamn material loads. Okay, uh, you can, uh, you two can, uh, could, uh, can back, come, go back to listening to what I'm saying because I'm done with my tirade. Thank you. I actually did stop listening. <laughs> Listen, it wouldn't be a fucking video on the Beasts of Vienna Hole channel if I didn't go off on random tirades. Like, I, it's painful that I have to fucking for the joke just just straight up say the beast of uh, beasts of Vienna Hole, even if it's Beast of Barbarians Vienna Hole. Because I changed fucking title name, uh, channel name because people just can't find the wild hunt anymore. The worst part is when you actually search up the wild hunt, you just find Witcher shit. <laughs> Give me the actual original myth, man. I want to read about the actual wild hunt, which you know, the, like the fucking folk stories, which some of them theorize that the Lord of the Hunt is Odin himself. actual fucking thing by the way and some myths talking about the wild hunt the person attributed to being the lord of the hunt is odin anyways what's this nice plan of yours that doesn't involve dressing me up in a skirt and driving into the bathroom for girls talk no no this is a diet <laughs> that's again Ever Such a strange visage he adapted to very well. Ever since I told you, Khan, I get very paranoid about any cross-dressing talk. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm probably still squeezed into a size 8, but I've had enough of that for one lifetime. Yikes. Another bout of Adam braiding there. <laughs> You know what? If I could, I'd like mute Bud for a jo like deaf and Bud for a joke real quick that he should not hear at this point. No, no, no. I'm not gonna. You can't do this to me. I <laughs> guess <laughs> like it's, it's a joke you won't get for a while. I think until Labyrinth, even. Who fucking knows? Actually, you know what? Hold on. There goes nothing. <clears throat> He's asking for instructions. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. <laughs> Passing yeah, paranoia notes to each other. In their DMs, uh, I feel like a little child is being whispered around. What are you whispering about? <laughs> like you're just you're just a little child playing with blocks while the while the adults off to the side are just talking about some weird fucked up shit the kid won't fucking get for like another ten years. Me playing Guitar Hero in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> Are you playing through the fire and the flames, though? Yes. Good. You're no disappointment to my family. You are my son. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Remember when I first made my Patreon and my highest tier reward was just like, hey, on top of getting like multiple votes for what game to play next, you also get like a personalized video of me saying that acting like your father and telling you that I'm proud of you. <laughs> that's actually something that's still on the Patreon page. But I usually don't use it any anymore. So Oh, 
ニックネームがあった方がいいんじゃないのってことなのよニックネームじゃないニックネームそれは人と人との距離を縮める愛のささやきニックネームそれは凝縮された言葉に込められた他人を思いやる気持ち Most nicknames I've had in my life were just making fun of my family name for, the, for like some way of bullying me so shut the fuck up Sounds familiar Or indeed just getting my name completely wrong Like, you know what? I think I've talked about this before, but I'm just going to err, err on the side of caution. This is my family name. Uh -huh. And they would just like, damn near violate that name in an attempt to make funny of me. Like, it did essentially. I'm going to say it out loud to the audience. Don't. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I was joking. <laughs> like, it would devolve into something like in the German version of that, and the German version of that. So, yeah. No, here's the thing. Smith is a common name, but mine isn't. <laughs> yeah. The Smith and Jones. Accent, fuck, accent, he opened up fucking Premiere. Why do I still have the fucking shortcut in my fucking tabs? Uh. <laughs> Task Manager! This shrimply cannot be good. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. Oh, uh, god fucking damn it! Premiere, 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 premiere. No, 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 no. Don't stop running away from me! Oh, there's still a Wii mod open. Hold <laughs> back, please. Uh, close premiere. I, I don't know why that I still have that in my fucking taskbar. I literally can't use it anymore. I've switched over. To a different editing program. <laughs> All right, there we go. But yeah, right. I've literally only met one other person with the same family man name as mine. Mm hmm. Our families were not at all related. However, she is one of the three girls that had a crush on me during my childhood. That fucking chased me down like hungry fucking wolves during a time where I was genuinely scared of girls. Huh. Oh, because the first girl that ever had a crush on me, probably. I think I talked about this before. Like, there was this one girl that I was very good friends with in kindergarten, and I essentially would hang out with her during every fucking. It, like I would hang out with her every day and then one day during her birthday party we were like in the base like everyone that was divided was in the basement just like for some arts and crafts crafts stuff and mm -hmm. the party essentially ended everyone already went home but I was just finishing up my thing and my mother was already waiting upstairs but didn't come down and essentially I finished what I was doing, and suddenly this girl that I was good friends with grabbed me by the shoulder, like threw me to the fucking ground, mounted me, and started kissing me. The problem was that I had a stuffy nose at this party, so I damn near actually fucking suffocated. <laughs> and that event gave me a mild phobia of girls until I, uh, uh, all the way to eighth grade. And the, uh, like seventh grade, more so seventh grade, uh, because uh, and the only reason why that went away because in seventh grade I was in a class that had four boys and nineteen girls. Dear God, like a Whoa. manga protagonist. Yeah. You say that like I have had a harem? No, <laughs> no. If anything, one of the boys had a harem because he was a fucking one of the popular ones. 
Uh-oh. Ain't that right, Marcus? <laughs> Marcus idea. gets a shout out. <laughs> Listen, I feel safe talking to him because, like, how many people are called Marcus? A fucking Fire Emblem character is called Marcus. <laughs> yeah. So, he wouldn't watch these vids, would he? I don't think so. Watch the man, like, come to my house tomorrow, like, I heard you talk about me. <laughs> because he is within walking distance of my house. <laughs> He's actually, like, you. I used to be friends with him, actually. Uh, kind of, like, disconnected with him for a, very, for a short time. And it's essentially just gone on hiatus. And one of his birthdays is actually where I got this scarf from. Hmm. I just so you two also know what I'm talking about. Let me just send the picture real quick. Just to be fair, you know. This scar. Sending. There we go. Ow. Yeah, uh, the way that, you Ouch. know, you know, like these fucking, you know, like these out, like this indoor ter- terrace type things that always have like these, like, uh, which always are like surrounded by like glass doors, essentially, like just where you like pull open to the side instead of opening them like a lo- pro- normal door. Mm-hmm. I, at this birthday, was trying to pass by a couple of people to get back to my seat and I fell and trying to catch myself I like fucking just with full force with my entire weight behind it just crashed my palm into the rails of those sliding doors essentially ouch, not ouch. cutting but ripping open my palm I literally went to the hospital that day for the fucking stitching. Anyways. Nickname! So it was. Anko ni michita kono sekai de no saigo no kibo. Exciting no kusho. Nickname! An epitaph. You don't want that. I want to throw her out the window still. Ah, she'll bounce. Literally, the o- like the only nickname that I can currently like one of the only nicknames that I can currently. I only can I can only remember like three nicknames that I've had that were malicious in nature, and one of them is my fucking channel like pseudonym. Like every like I have talked about how my name is Maximilian before. Like my mm-hmm. name is Maximilian okay. Tobi- Tobias, and then my family name. Mm-hmm. A name fit for king. And literally, like, the only nicknames that I've had that weren't, like, malicious are, like, Max, Maxi, Toby, and just referring to me as my pseudonym, Beast. That's it. Anyways. <laughs> An epitaph. Planning on writing my obituary? My name is nothing more than an arbitrary label to distinguish one. A name is nothing more than an arbitrary label to distinguish one individual from another. I suppose you're free to attach effect to it if you want. But personally, I don't see any particular need to do so. I see. What sort of nickname were you thinking of? Watashimo 
Something tells me at the moment I hear this nickname, I'm gonna want to punt you both. Well, I'll go ahead and say it, I'll hear you out. Thank you. I've been uh, wanting to do that for ages. I mean, you had very, multiple opportunities when I was going off about Chizuru, so let's be fair, you just missed your fucking opportunities. <laughs> well, for this particular moment, anyway. Do you seriously plan to use that name every single time you talk to me? Like... The purpose of a nickname is to make the thing you have to say shorter. And endearing. Usually, at least. Usually. Like, that's, like, one of the reasons why when I fucking, like, wifed up Raven and Rune Factory 3, when, during the newlywed episode, I chose to still call her Raven instead of the nickname based on the name that the game gave me, which was Rave. Like, what, I'm gonna walk up to her, like, fucking oons, 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 every fucking time? <laughs> Just violent beatboxing intensifies. <laughs> Oh, I just realized that I, while I fucking carried up, I carried my fucking table, like, table? Plate. Plate. While I ta carried my plate upstairs, I still have to fucking sauce up down here. Actually, you know what? Might as well look up what the fuck the English name for this sauce is so y'all know what I fucking ate the chicken nuggies with. Again, wrong window. I'm going to stab someone. Uh. Apparently the English word for it is just tartar sauce. Huh. That simple, huh? Did expect that, actually. So yeah, I ate the chicken nuggies with tartar sauce. Because they didn't have sweet sour sauce on hand. Anyways. Hmm. <laughs> Ham passing sounds like a different way of referring to gas bagging, and I don't even know what gas bagging refers to. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Now I'm fucking curious. What the fuck does gas bagging mean? I know, I, I know the phrase, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> gas bagging, meaning a person who talks. <sighs> I hate my fucking browser lately. A person who talks too much. Oh, so me. Hand passing them would just be what William Shatner does. What does William Shatner do again? Famous for hamming the script in Star Trek so frequently. Uh, <laughs> it, it surprised what? me that you didn't know that. William Shatner Famous. himself. There it was. Having a family name that has the word Shat in it is just like a sad fucking person. Yeah, it's that's like just fucking, gonna get you it's a picked sad, on like anything. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fucking sad state of affairs. I'm gonna be passing your ham on a regular basis. It can't be a standoff or all that. Anyway, if you're gonna start giving people nicknames for being anti-social, shouldn't you start with Skaki? He's not the most approachable person either, wouldn't you say? Uh,それはそうだけどさ。そうなんだけどさ。印象はそれぞれ受け方が違うから、名前をもじってニックネームにするっていうのはどうなのよさ。それよ、それだわ。名前をもじってニックネームにする。ふふん。<laughs> I missed the pillow behind me. I can't wait to move out because I, I actually already got the new couch in my living room. 
already like set up nicely. That's the that's the fucking advantage of like planning to move into an empty apartment that your grandmother manages. Because my ma grandma's like, you know what, you don't live there already, but it's fucking empty, so go ahead and set up already until you actually move in, so you don't have to handle all that when you want to already sleep there. <laughs> so my fucking new couch is already there, and it's like right behind where I plan to set up my fucking desk. So if I ever had a situation that in a recording would make me get up and want to leave the room, instead I can just like get up out of my seat and just like lay down on the couch behind me. <laughs> also, Michiru, you're not the one who had that idea. Most of them seem to be shamed, so Makina. So you are planning to bully him. Is there any reason it has to be fun? I don't see anyone. Call him Kaz. Just call him Kaz. It's funny because it also is like a nickname for Kiryu. Y'all play in like Infinite Wealth yet? Or like watched anything based on that game? No. Uh spoiler fuck a spoiler warning for like the next like let's say five seconds until I finish the sentence. Mm -hmm. They gave Kiryu cancer. No. <laughs> also, there's like one scene where like they're just talking in a bar. And as they're talking. Fucking judgments just starts playing and like Nanma's like, wait, hold on. I don't who fucking put the song on. Well, if no one's going to take it, Kiryu gets up, grabs the mic and just goes up. <laughs> Just start singing, and I was like, "Come on, you put that in and fuck on fucking purpose." <laughs> Which is like, I adore the fact that Kiryu is like, this this man is like fucking old as sin at this point, has to constantly act as if he's dead. But if he's at a karaoke bar and fucking Judgment starts playing, he is on stage. <laughs> Juicy Let's have another try, Makina, alright? Ah, so I don't know why when, when, when it comes to Makina my paternal instincts are set in. <laughs> that reminds me of one time during like I think it was sixth grade during biology class. We were essentially having sex ed classes. Actually, no, it was fifth grade even, I think. Yeah, it was fifth grade. And also, I just miss, I just remembered that I misremembered the whole like seventh grade thing with the 19 girls and four, bo four boys. That was in sixth grade. In seventh grade, it was three boys and 20 girls. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, anyways, in, in fifth grade, we had like sex ed classes at one point. And during the end of the lesson, like for the last 10 minutes or so, the teacher decided, you know what, let's play a game. Let's list off like negative like trace of the other gender that they have in puberty. So the boys had to list off the negative traits for the girls and the girls had to list off negative traits for the boys. And so like... We just continuously threw out like negative traits and near the end of the lesson is like you know what? I just decided, you know what? Am I allowed to say like a positive trait for the boys? Like just a singular one. And the teacher's like, you know what, fine, we've got like one like a few seconds left to class, go out. Uh, boys develop a very protect like a, a very active protective instinct. <laughs> and like the teacher's like 
All right, we'll give the boys a positive. <laughs> Which is still funny to me to this day. Same teacher, by the way, uh, said Marcus that I referred to. For some reason, they always called him Max and called me Marcus. <laughs> because, like, to them, Marcus looked like a Maximilian while I looked like a Marcus <laughs> to them. <laughs> so they constantly just mixed us up. And every time that, and, and, and after a certain point, she just always had candy with her. So every time you she referred to one of us by wrong name, she just gave us candy. <laughs> it was mostly Marcus that got the candy, <laughs> but still hilarious. Anyways. <laughs> You'll, you just keep saying that, just you wait until you're age scene. <laughs> just you wait. なんて言うの?でも星ぼった時に出る果実の煌めきみたいなさ、そういうのがないじゃない。どっちかって言うと、星がきっぽくない?枯れてる感じが。I thought you were going to describe wrinkled up. What, what fucking video was it again? Like, produce makes it blah 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 goddess or something else. I don't fucking remember. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, that's like an old ass fucking core memory I've just unlocked. Oh my fucking god. Anyways. Why don't you tell me what you really think, punk? Don't worry, I'm thick-skinned. え?いや、悪口じゃないですよ。そ、その、落ち着いた感じだなっていうね。いい意味での乾物感が半端ないなっていう。ねえ、何を話してるか知らないけど、もう少し静かにしてくれる?うるさくて方に集中できないんだけど
people streaming SMT5 join my stream and chat. And I was like, you know what? Considering all the other people I've seen streaming this game, you're very good at, at maneuver at like maneuvering around the map. Like you, 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 you seem to know where you're going. And it's just like I just sit there like, what? what why is just like looking at the map and just intuiting where to go something to be praised about? Like what other streams has this man been in? Maybe I'll actually stream it again when the fucking Ven like Vengeance version comes out. Who knows? I seem to remember you saying no effort whatsoever was required. <laughs> Bud? Why me? Go ahead, bud. Dear God. You are the only person who has literally no idea about the series, so all choices are going to hinge on you. Yeah, sacrificial lamb. Escape goat. <laughs> yeah. Sacrificial lamb is rather apt, considering it's near Easter. Um, alright. Um, I like the third one best. Yuji, Yuji, okay. Okay. Indeed. Right, out of those, I'd say Yuji Yuji. To be fair, that was also the one I would go with because uh, fuck Juicy Yuji. <laughs> and Mr. Standoffish Man is just straight up way longer than the fucking normal name, so who would ever fucking use that one? Yuji Yuji will be the first one. Then I'll call you. Yuji Yuji! Yuji Yuji! Yuji Yuji! Ha 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 ha! You met Ko over there. Be honest. <laughs> I think I'd rather be dressed as a number. <laughs> Names changed. No, no, two numbers. Jealous, are you? In that case, allow me to give you a nickname as well. Yeah.あ、私はほら、もうチルチルっていう素敵な名前があるしさ。二つもいただいたら申し訳ないしね。more nicknames than Mary, in my opinion. Back me up here, Makina. Alright, first of all, let's see if we can come up with anything based on your appearance. So, so I've decided from this day forth, you are dirty blonde. Eh? I mean, you did say that compared to natural blondes, hers does look kind of unnatural. Yeah, it is bleached. Yeah, it's not really dirty blonde. Like, he literally just said, like, you know what, that blonde doesn't really look that good. I can hook you up with, like, a proper blonde dye if you want to. Like, near the start of the game. So, she is... Confirmed to have dirt blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, but her hair is not dirty blonde right now. Because that's the fucking art style. I'm going to beat you to death. Fucking go ahead and try. <laughs> it's not slander, it's objective description of your parents. Listen up, Dirty Blonde, when you confer a nickname on someone, it's only natural to expect the same treatment in return. I suggest you remember that. That said, I'm a man of mercy. If you dislike the name that much, I suppose I can give you another. Alright then, I'll transform the name Michiru. Mature. Bimyozugiru! ふやかいな感じはしないけど、天井じゃないほどのしっくりこない感。だけど名前から文字を取ってるだけで否定できない。なんという絶妙にダメな肉ネームなの。こんなに複雑な気持ちになったの初めて。オッケー、マーケンの
Oh my god, nothing on you, Mitcher. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> I guess we... No, no it's just for this one. That's far. That's far. That's far. I think we all know that Sachi would be Sapchan. I like that one. Not entirely unheard of with these two. Sachi, my friend. Now that you know the truth of the matter, now that you know the truth of the matter, I'm sure you're longing for your own nickname. Fernanda will provide you with one. Hi, thank you very much. You're now such a. やめて。そうやって会いに来てもう増やしていくのはやめて。では私今日からサッチャーとして生きていくこと。ここに誓わせていただきます。ちょっとマキナから聞いたんだけど。アッチャー。え、な、何？ <laughs> 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 Fucking, fucking Yuji over here changing the fucking book of thought. Hmm? Not sure. やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。やめて。
No way. Not even going to use your actual name, just the fucking fact that she's principal. <laughs> How fucking dare you do my girl like that? Alright then, I'll be going now. I know you wanna do it. Sounds so squeaky and annoyed. It's adorable. Yeah, well, I'll take her home with me. Mm, dinner first. You said it like I was plan planning to take her home for the sexy times. Now I'm planning to take her home, throw her on the couch, and then cuddle with her while watching something or something. Yeah, I don't I know, know why. I like. I don't. I don't. I don't know why. But yesterday I was like one of those weird moods where it's just like sit at home and just think. All you can think about is like, damn. I wish I had a fucking lover or something. Not just like, not like for sexual reasons or something. I just, I just want to fucking cuddle with someone. Mm. Like one of those weird fire. dudes. Anyways, uh, you just not gonna consider my offer? No. <laughs> why? Um, why is the MC suddenly called Yui? You either that or it's you and I. Joke. Like here it says Yuji, but in the save screen it says U E. You it's missing the J. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Here it's missing like any kind of indication that it's like punctuation, yeah. For all of them. Like there it's like it's just principal chairman. Instead of principal saying, Chairman, it's been a while. Here it's Yumiko, yes. Instead of Sunshine playing Con Counter Strike 2. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you next time. Bye. Okay, gang.